Hello there and welcome to this channel. My name is Dick van Oeveren and in this video I will show you how to perform a software upgrade on Aruba CX switch using Aruba Fabric Composer. Um, this video is part of a video series covering all kinds of topics around data center networking with Aruba. And again, in this video, it's going to be a very short one because it's really very easy to do that. Uh, I'm going to show you how to perform a software upgrade. So let's get to it. Here we are on the Ruba Fabric Composer, the dashboard. Uh, let me show you the visualization. A couple of switches here, a couple of spine switches, AD325s. Um, I've got a couple of 10Ks here. And what I want to do is I want to upgrade uh well you know the spine switches i guess 8325s now in order to do that the first thing i have to do is i need to upload the firmware onto a robot fabric composer and i can do that in a very easy way uh, we'll just go into maintenance device firmware and now take an action to add the firmware so you can see that I've already downloaded the images from the ASP website and I'll just uh, drag that one in there. Uh, you can see this is the 10.11 software release and just apply it. And then what will happen is that the image will be uploaded into Aruba Fabric Composer. Uh, so this will take a while. Um, we'll just wait until that is finished and then will continue. Now the software is uploaded onto Aruba Fabric Composer. You can see here 10.11. Uh, I can uh, delete it if I want, but no, I just don't want that because I want to upgrade the 8325. And then the next step is to go into the switches option here into maintenance switches. Then what we can do is we can select the switches that we want to upgrade. So this is the 8325-1 and the 8325-2. They are the both spine switches. Let's go into actions and I can select stage firmware. And you can see here the uh, images, uh, what's currently on uh, on the switches, so the primary partition is running 101002, secondary is running 101010, <laughs> and the uh, so the the secondary partition is actually the active partition, and the primary is the non-active. You can see that here. And so what I'm going to do is I want to uh, upgrade the primary partition, all right, because the secondary partition is the active software uh, means that if something would go wrong I still have the secondary partition the the you know the correct software to uh, to upgrade okay and I'm staging version 1011001 select the primary and then click apply and what is happening now is that uh, AFC is now copying the new software onto the switches it's not rebooting is just copying uh, the software. And then after the software has been uploaded, uh, I can then uh, choose to reboot the switches. And uh, let's just wait until that, um, that is done. You can also see that uh, software state is set to staging. Once the software upload is finished, you can see that um, uh, in the software state, and then we can, you know, maybe uh, reboot the switches. Okay, let's wait for the staging to be completed. As you can see, the staging has been completed. The staged software version is 10.11.0.0.1. And what I can do now is I can now choose to reboot the switches. Now, because um, these are the spine switches, I don't want to reboot both of them. I just want to reboot them one by one because if I would reboot both of them, that would um, cause uh, the network to be unavailable in resources. So I'm just going to select one switch and go into actions and then reboot 
the selected switch. Select the switch that my reboot partition would be the primary partition. You can uh, you notice that the secondary uh, is the active one, but I want to uh, move it to the primary partition. Hit apply, and now the switch will be rebooted with the new software. The other spine switch is still up and running. I can reboot that other switch later on, and uh, so that there will be no downtime or minimum downtime for um, um, for the network. Okay, so let's wait for that a little bit until it's back up and running. Let's go to the dashboard. Uh, you'll probably see the switch becoming unavailable at a certain stage, um, and when it becomes available again, then uh, I'll reboot the other one. And as you can see, the 25 is unavailable at this moment because it's rebooting. Okay, the switch is back up again, and let's check it out. Yes, so that's the 8325-1, and you can see that this is now running software 1011.001. Let me just go to the other switch. I can actually click on this one and go straight away to that switch. So from the dashboard, just click on the 8325-2, and I can do the same thing here. Reboot the switch. You can see that staging is complete. I'll just go to actions and reboot. Select the switch. Select the active partition. Would be primary, right? Because the secondary is the current active partition, and I want to reboot on the primary partition. Click apply, and then the switch is being rebooted. Let's go to the dashboard and the switch should be rebooting in a second. And as you can see, the switch is now unresponsive, the 8325-2, because it's rebooting to the new software version. And let's wait for it to come back. The switch is back up again. That's the 8325-2, and you can see it's running 1011.0001. Software is upgraded. And that's really all there is to it. It's very easy and simple to perform software upgrades using Aruba Fabric Composer. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching again. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. If you have any questions or if you have any feedback, let us know. And I hope to see you soon showing you more stuff on Aruba Data Center Networking. Thanks for now and bye-bye. See you soon.